The most important thing to remember about number five is that it's supposed to be an easy question. We're really, really close to the beginning of the calculator section. We should not anticipate having many problems, many confusing questions in the first 10 of the calculator section. So if you feel confused, it's probably more that they're kind of like tricking you a little bit than you're actually dealing with a hard question. And so this is a case where maybe just do the simplest thing and it's going to work out. So when I look at this question, this, this inequality here, I notice that all of the pieces are divisible by three. So I could just divide this entire equation by three and kind of see what happens. So six X divided by three is two X, negative nine Y divided by three is negative three Y, and then 12 divided by three is four. So two X minus three Y is greater than four is an answer. So that's it, that's all you have to do. That's gonna happen a lot on the SAT where something looks like it's bad, but it turns out to be completely benign, very easy. And one thing to kind of file away into your, into your brain is that the SAT likes to use inequalities in particular to make questions look worse than they actually are. So just because something includes an inequality doesn't mean it's gonna be hard. Maybe when you learned inequalities in school, you felt that that was a hard topic. I would just kind of ignore that feeling and just proceed normally, try to do something simple. If the inequality matters, it'll kind of reveal itself throughout the process. But, you know, just sense the difficulty. It's supposed to be easy, it's easy.